Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Allison Maloney. After a special operations mission went wrong in Africa in 2017, this fallen soldier's wife took it as her mission to investigate the covered up missteps that officials left out regarding her husband's death. She's now made a call to action to create more accountability and transparency in the military. For more, let's bring in the author of Sacrifice, a gold star widow's fight for the truth, Michelle Black. Michelle, welcome to Wake Up America. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for having me today. Of course, Michelle, your experience has led you to call the government into question regarding the fallen military. What can you tell us about that? You know, we need to work on solutions to have more transparency in military investigations. Um, and I'm thinking through potential policy changes, uh, we can really do something about that. Um, there's, you know, in my husband's situation, the the um, the commander who the commanding general of all of Africom, who was the highest ranked uh, general, uh, he appointed the investigating officer, um, and that really led to uh, the lower levels, um, the men on the ground being blamed, rather than those officers who actually forced them ahead on the mission. Mm. Uh, Michelle, you say in your book that you believe that the government wanted nothing more but to bring you the truth, but you soon found out that was wrong. What led you to uncover the truth and what did you find? You know, initially we did. We believed that we were going to get the truth. And by the time we got to our investigation, it was very clear, or our investigation brief, it was clear that they were blaming those at the lowest levels, including the captain on the team. Um, and they were sticking with the lies that the team had gone rogue and acted like cowboys. But Green Berets don't go rogue. And so I knew better. I ended up speaking to each individual who had survived the ambush, as well as several um, upper um, and lower level officers throughout the chain of command and found out that the team had actually pushed back against the mission originally and been forced ahead despite their protests. Mm. Yeah, Michelle, you're starting a nonprofit organization to advocate for fallen soldiers and their families. Is this what's been lacking in the system? You know, I I believe so. Um, I what I'm starting is a five hundred one c four, and it is going to be called Soldiers Alliance. And we are hoping to push and advocate for just general transparency, so that families don't have to deal not just with the grief. But the added grief of lies, not just to them about um, their fallen soldiers, which adds so much more grief, but also so much. Um, it's so dishonorable though, for those who gave their lives in service to our country. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that this will help bring some transparency and maybe, you know, we can move these investigations by we can hand them over to um an impartial entity yeah. um, to run them. Uh, Michelle, we only have a couple of seconds left, but your husband's name is Brian. Can you tell us quickly about him? <laughs> yeah, As my husband was Brian Black. He was a Green Beret medic. He spoke four languages, um, Hausa, uh, modern standard Arabic, French, and, um, you know, he just loved being a family man. That was his first love, his family, and uh, second, his job. Oh, so. yeah. And, and he is a true hero. And, and I know our viewers are certainly thinking of him and your family. Uh, your paperback comes out today. Uh, where can people get it? Anywhere books are sold. Uh, Amazon, you know, Kindle, Audible. Um, and it's also out in all bookstores. Well, I'm sure a lot of people will be picking up that book. Michelle Black, we appreciate it. Thank you. And, and your husband's a hero. Thank you so much.